It's time for this week's Fashion Forward. The crisis in Ukraine continues to touch all parts of our lives, even fashion. And we're going to continue that conversation we start about how the fashion industry is standing in unity with Ukraine. Joining me now, you see her there, stylist and author Heather Newberger. Hey, Heather, happy Friday. Happy Friday on this auspicious Friday, shall we say. Last week, we talked about these big last-minute switch-ups that were happening at Milan's fall and winter 22 Fashion Week. And there's other some important things that happened that maybe we missed. Yeah, it's been interesting to really watch what's happened in the fashion industry just sort of since some brands came out to do that and just in terms of what's happening in Ukraine and how we're engaging with it from our perspective. We're actually starting to finally see American brands really standing out and saying some things. But really, it's again, it's these European brands who are, you know, having their shows in Milan Fashion Week, which was the most latest fashion week, the end of fashion week. And they are saying, you know, I want to make a statement with the clothing we're showing. So one of those examples is Nanushka, who I brought up before, who has put sanctions on sending garments over to Ukraine. I love their stuff so much. And they actually chose to play the Ukrainian national anthem for their show. And one of the things I think is important to touch on is that when we look at fashion shows, they're so tied to music. It's so integral to the way that we look at the clothing, the beading, the timing. It's really about the quote unquote show aspect of it. So then we have a designer like Rick Owens who actually came out and he moved things into Mayor's Fifth Symphony, which is actually a song that was represented of the composer for the love he has for his wife. And while Rick Owens did say that, you know, this is sort of a sentimental choice for him. He does feel like it's really important because it's better suited for the sobriety and sort of the hope we have for our current situation and the love that he has for Ukraine. Now, how has all of this translated kind of beyond the runway? We're seeing it, of course, at fashion shows, but are these styles being displayed anywhere else that we're seeing in maybe our everyday lives? Well, these styles are being displayed, yes, definitely in our everyday lives and sort of from a different perspective than we talked about a few weeks ago. You know, when we're talking about New York Fashion Week, we're looking at Sparkle, we're looking at Shine, we're mm -hmm. looking at all these different sort of ways to stand out while also still sort of being muted and kind of oversized in our own bodies. That being said, now we're looking at really somber looks that we're quote unquote being called quiet fashion. So this quiet fashion really engages kind of coming from a few different brands. And initially, one of those things we're looking at is sort of, you know, we've got a slightly too big blazer over a smaller top like Stella McCartney is doing in fall, winter 22. You know, we see that sort of oversized look, but we're also kind of showing a little bit of skin, but in a sort of more subdued way. We're also seeing it with, you know, a knee high boot with a skirt like Victoria Beckham's fall, winter 22, let alone baggy jeans, which appear to be the new wide. Y2K trend that's going to come and really make a scene for us all uh, who enjoy it. Um, you know, and I think that it's interesting as we're also seeing, you know, there's a lot of different colors that are being associated, but they're also extremely muted. And quiet fashion isn't necessarily about, you know, being dressed down and switched off, but it's a lot more about being low key and kind of living within yourself. And when we talk about quiet fashion, as you just mentioned, what are those specific muted colors that are associated with this or colors in particular that we're seeing in that genre? Well, one of the things, you know, we talked about a few years ago was that nude was really like the big color that was out there. And now when it comes to quiet fashion, we're really moving into brown, specifically the tonal mm -hmm. hues you see there as embraced by the row, but also, you know, some brighter and, and even some darker ones that are kind of playing off each other. But that brown feeling, that sort of insular and also, frankly, very fall color is really what's taking the runways by storm. Wow, it's such an interesting story and so intricate, especially because of what's happening in the world and the fashion industry kind of stepping up and it's kind of milking its way into our own real lives as well. If you guys want to follow Heather on Instagram, make sure you do so. You can also watch her here every Friday of the week. If you go to Instagram, it's at Heather Newberger. And then you guys do some additional work for Heather there. Pick up her book, How to Date Your Wardrobe.